Thank you to the realistic free-to-play online game War Thunder for sponsoring this Simple History episode. Start your own career as an ace tanker of World War II by using the link in the description below and get a free premium vehicle and three days of premium time as a bonus. World War II Tech M4 Sherman Medium Tank One of the most recognizable tanks from World War II, the Sherman Tank, officially known as the Medium Tank M4, was built in the USA and used by the U.S. Army, U.S. Marines, and British, Canadian, Soviet, and Free French forces. The United States was behind in tank technology at the beginning of World War II, and panic at the German developments and victories in Europe resulted in the rushed design of the M3 Lee. The M4 Sherman was named after the famous American Civil War general, William T. Sherman. It would be more of a refined design than the M3, which was a stopgap and featured the same lower hull and suspension, but with a new upper hull. The first prototype, known as the T6, debuted in September 1941. The M4 Sherman was first rushed into production at the Lima Locomotive Works factory intended for the British forces as Lendleys. Its upper hull was cast, which meant improved protection and speedier production than the M3. The armor thickness was a maximum of 76 millimeters or 3 inches and had a minimum of 15 millimeters or 0.59 inches. The overall tank weighed 33 tons. The tank would have a height and width limitation, a specification ordered by the U.S. Army so that it could be transported on bridges, landing craft, and railroads without any special equipment. This limitation meant that the tracks were narrow, which gave the tank poor mobility in muddy terrain. The Sherman's armament was a 75mm main gun and coaxial 30 cal Browning M1919A4 machine gun in an electric-powered fully traversing turret. Another 30 cal machine gun was also placed in the hull, and a Browning 50 cal machine gun could be placed on top of the turret for anti-air and anti-personnel defense. The M4 Sherman had a good speed of 35 to 47 kilometers per hour or 22 to 30 miles per hour on the road and a range of 160 to 240 kilometers or 100 to 150 miles depending on the variant. One praise from crews of the tank would be the ease of maintenance on the battlefield, especially compared to German tanks. Standardized production variations in the engines and sometimes different upper hulls were identified by its seven sub-designations. M4, M4A1, M4A2, M4A3, and so forth. The tank carried a crew of five, including the commander, gunner, loader, driver, and co-driver. The first Sherman tanks saw action with the British at El Alamein, North Africa, in October 1942 and remained a popular tank with the British Army. It would then go on to fight in Italy, Western Europe, and throughout the Pacific Theater. The Sherman found an equal adversary in early versions of the Panzer IV, although it was soon recognized by the German Panzer crews that the Sherman was lightly armored. When it went against the new heavily armored German Tiger or the Panther tanks, the Sherman was no match. These German tanks could knock out a Sherman tank from far distances that exceeded the range of the Sherman's 75mm gun. Even at close ranges, the Sherman's gun found it difficult to penetrate the Tiger's armor. Because of American emphasis on mass production, innovations did not catch up with these new German arrivals, so by D-Day 1944, the Sherman was outclassed. American doctrine also stressed that the Sherman tank was an exploitation vehicle, not designed to engage in combat with tanks, a role that was supposed to be for specially designed tank destroyers. Tank crews tried to give themselves a fighting chance on the battlefield by adding additional steel plate armor or even sandbags to their Shermans. It would take superior numbers of Shermans to take out one Tiger or Panther tank. One of the problems was figuring out how the Sherman turret could be fitted with a more powerful gun. While some Shermans were fitted with a 76mm gun, such as the M4A3 Easy 8 and some the 105mm Howitzer, the true anti-tank answer was the British Sherman Firefly, a modification that fitted a QF 17-pounder gun in the turret. Overall, the use of sheer numbers and combined arms with air support would help the Sherman tank combat its own drawback when taking on the enemy on the battlefield. The M4 Sherman was mass-produced by the American industry at a staggering scale, with 49,234 tanks produced. Many variants were produced beyond its armor and gun upgrades, including a flamethrower, rocket launcher, 
Bulldozer Blade, Amphibious DD, Mine Flail, and Engineer Variants. The Sherman would see action in many post-war conflicts, including the Korean War, the Suez Crisis, the 1948-1967 Arab-Israel Wars, and the Vietnam War. The Sherman is a famous tank of World War II, and you can take on the enemy with this iconic machine in War Thunder. War Thunder is a free-to-play military online game available on PC, PlayStation 4, and soon Xbox One. We play as the username Simple History, so sign up and support us on the battlefield against tens of thousands of players from all over the world. The game has a choice of over 1,000 realistic aircraft, tanks, and ships. Use the link in the description below to register and get a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time as a bonus.